Assalamu alaikum students your instructor Abdul Rafi here so today basically it's an introduction lecture on the bad debts for AS level accounting the concepts that we are going to discuss can also be applied to O levels as well so let's get started with the bad debts and as you know it's a very small chapter but in recent papers we have seen questions complete 15 mark questions on them as well as you can see that is in 2017 February March as, as, as well as we got a question in 2019 May June as well okay so we need to understand that what is actually a bad debts and concepts related to bad debts that we are going to discuss so basically a bad debt occurs when the receivable when your debtor is unable to pay the debt okay so we'll write down the definition as well that a bad debt is basically an expense okay so bad debt is an expense where your customer where your debtor or your customer bad debt is an expense where your customer and debtor is unable to pay his dues so basically you sell the goods to someone and they are not able to pay their debts because of bankruptcy they are not able to return the funds or there is some liquidity problems they are facing or they have gone bankrupt they cannot be able to pay their business is making losses and they are shutting down the business okay so we can say that bad debt is an expense where the customer or the other words we already know that is the debtor or the receivable is unable to pay its debt okay so the receivable customer is unable to pay the debt okay is unable to pay their debt or dues okay so you can write any definition from this to pay their dues or unable to clear to pay his debt okay unable to pay the debt so these words can be used for the definition of bad debt okay so that is the important things of uh, this is the introduction to the bad debts that what is actually a bad debt okay so bad debt is an expense and definitely it will be written on the debit side okay because expenses are written on the debit side so the first thing that comes to mind is sir what is the journal entry for recording bad debt because you will find this in the exam questions as well okay in the uh, papers okay paper two as well and in mcq's bad debts concept is also being tested okay so hope everyone gets this that bad debt will be a loss it's an expense because it will be written on the debit side so the journal entry to record the bad debts will be sure that it will be the expense debit and that will be simple that is the bad debts debit okay so we are going to say that the bad debts or the whatever the amount is the bad debts will be debited okay by the particular amount and then the receivable or the customer or let's say mr mr x the person you can write down the name of the debtor receivable or the customer whatever the debt whoever the debtor is he will become he will be credited so your customer debtor or receivable will become credit okay and you can write the word that this is receivable okay the person so basically you sold the goods and you were working on them and they have to pay you after two three months couple of months but they are not able to pay back the their dues they are not able to pay back their amount so it's going to be a bad debt okay so that is basic introduction of bad debt understanding what is it's an expense next thing that also comes is basically partial bad debts okay that also comes in this understanding that you also have the partial bad debts so let's discuss the concept of partial bad debts as well that uh, in this lecture that what is partial bad debts that the person have good relation with us or the company it has good relation or he doesn't he can he is not able to pay all of his debt but he can pay some amount of the debt okay so that is basically the definition as the word suggests itself that it is partial bad debt so some amount will be not be paid and some amount the company or the sole trader the owner the organization will receive okay so the partial bad debt definition will be it occurs the partial bad debt occurs when the bankrupt business is willing that they will prepare that they will pay certain proportion of the liability will be paid okay so it the partial bad debt occurs when the receivable or the party or the when the receivable or your customer say customer will pay some proportion will pay some amount of the debt will pay some amount of the debt not the complete amount it will pay some amount of the debt for his relationships for the future years or due to like it's a long term they are working on and maybe they are, they don't want to completely bankrupt and say that hum kuch pay kar sakte hain so the amount that they can pay that will be called it will be a partial bad debt call that they will pay some amount of the debt that they owe 
and they are declaring that the certain per certain amount they are going to pay okay certain amount or will pay certain or some amount they are willing to pay of the debt okay so that is basically called the partial bad debt so the journal entry for that will be a bit different as well so if you talk about the journal entry for that it will be and let's take an example as well okay so i'll give you an example here as well students for the journal entry and the the example let's say that there is a person mr x or any uh, any name you can write okay but let's say that this is mr y and he he owes the business he owes to us he owes to me or the company he owes eight hundred dollars okay he owed eight hundred dollars but due to some reason he has been declared bankrupt so he declared bankrupt but he is saying that he is willing to pay uh, let's say 30 percent of the amount okay so he is declared bankrupt and he says that because we are working for so many long years and due to natural calamities due to disasters any pro any reason any particular usually it's the bankruptcy i would not be able to pay my debt of 800 he is telling to the sole trader mr y but he is saying that because of our relationship and i don't want that you suffered a loss or you suffered the huge loss so i'm willing to pay 30 percent of the debt okay so i'm willing to pay 30 percent of the debt that i can manage from the funds that i have so 30 percent of the debt he is willing to pay and he can manage to pay or willing to pay or you can say he can manage to pay so this is the example and it's going to be sir sure simple that because he is willing to pay that much amount so here we go that it's going to be that how what will be the journal entry that sir bank you will receive some amount right so it will be bank debit by how much 30 percent of the debt will be paid so 800 into 30 percent you'll do and you'll say that this will be 240 dollars okay so 240 dollars will be the amount that we are going to receive so because we are receiving we are the company we are the sole trader we are receiving so it's going to be 800 dollars into 30 percent and you get the amount of 240 in your bank okay so bank will be debited by 240 and then the remaining amount will be the bad debts okay so the remaining amount will also be debited because it's an expense so bad debts will also be debit because it's an expense and it will be remaining amount that is 800 minus 240 so 240 to receive okay and sir remaining amount that is 560 that will become bad debts now that this the person is not able to pay the bad debts and then mr y that is the name of the customer the debtor he will be credited by 800 dollars that is this was the balance due to him he he did we did sale to him and he was not able to return back his dues and pay his balance after three four months what were the what was the terms and conditions but now we understand here that uh, the company or the sole trader will receive at least 240 dollars amount remaining will be considered as bad debts as an expense that will be recorded income statement and mr y will be credited by 800 dollars uh, because he is a debtor and debtor we are finishing off the debtor so that is how it will be or you can write it will be accounts receivable as well if there is any person okay so hope everyone is getting the journal entries here and it's a very important understanding of journal entries for what you have to make journal entries for the complete bad debts the complete total bad debts and what will be the journal entry for the students partial bad debts okay so this will be the journal entry for partial bad debts and that you have to do bank debit so i'll just highlight this as well so students get this better okay so this is the partial bad debts journal entry this is journal entry for the normal situation okay